Okay people, this is himself. Welcome back to another Tekken 7 Dragunov guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Dragunov's Blizzard Rush. This is a signature throw and it actually has some nice features. So Blizzard Rush is FF1 plus 2. It's a 1 plus 2 break and it comes out in 12 frames. Now on hit, it leaves the opponent face down and that means we get some OK. The best brain dead option is D4. This is all options apart from standards. To cover that, we can use DF1. This hits them in the back and it also beats out wake up kicks. It's also quite interesting at the wall, because here the 4 extension is guaranteed and that can lead to good damage. What we can also do is use 4 3. This guarantees a stomp and it catches people who side roll and then get up. We also have 2 plus 4. This is a back throw so it can't be broken. But the problem with these two is that a low wake up kick will trip us and that means they get a combo. If we suspect that they'll back roll then we can use DF2. This will launch them and allow for an easy combo. The only problem is that standards can block it and in that case we're at minus 12. A safety option is back 1 plus 2. If you do this raw then you'll be at plus 6 against standards and back rollers. But wake up kicks will beat you. So to cover that we can do this. Full size set right, hold back and then do it. By doing it that way you'll evade both wake up kicks and punish them. You will also catch side rollers getting up and still be plus frames against back rollers. What that then leaves is people staying down and the best option is the stomp. Now if you do this raw, idlers get caught but side rollers will escape. So to cover that we do this, forward then stomp. What this will do is close the range and hit both side rolls. The only danger is that wake up kicks will beat it and those who get up can block it. Now since the opponent is standing, what you get is d3 and that is minus 14. Now having all this OK is all good, but what we need are ways to set up the foe in the first place. Now the most obvious scenario is when you have plus frames. Stuff like 4-4, four, four, running 2, back 1 plus 2, these all give frame advantage and it means that the throw becomes uninterruptible. But even at plus 6, players can sidestep their way out. And the thing is, good players will be ready for it. So as soon as they see both hands move forward, they will just input the break. Instead, the way to use this throw, and pretty much all command throws, is defensively. When you've blocked a move that's minus 8 or minus 9, you can't punish them. But at the same time, they're not going anywhere, because at those frames, sidestepping is risky. On top of that, they'll be expecting a mid-low mix-up, so going for a throw here can really catch them off guard. What that then brings me to is the throw combo. On every stage, Dragunov gets OK, but on a floor break, this throw becomes a launcher and in the right circumstances we can get 90 plus damage. Now if you enjoyed this video do give it a like, it really helps out this channel and it motivates me to do more for this character. My next Dragonov video will probably be focusing on his reversal, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. In the meantime, have fun, play well and I'll see you guys in the future.